Good day and welcome to our video today. Now, this is going to be a very interesting one because this is something that has caused um, some learners some grey hairs, <laughs> some unnecessary grey hairs, and that is mail merge. Now, pay attention because if you follow the steps that I show you here, you are guaranteed to get it right every single time. Okay, so what we need to look at now, I'm using a uh, document and you can see it says here create your own letterhead enter school address enter date then we've got parent guardian of and you'll see um, this display like this name of learner and then surname of learner address suburb and postal code so when you see these arrows um, this is where we are going to insert the information that comes from another document Okay, this could be from a document, an Excel spreadsheet. Usually a spreadsheet and a um, database is used because we are taking that data. Remember, raw facts, which is just a list of names, surnames, ID numbers, you know, cell phone numbers, all that. And we bring it into an existing document with the purpose of making it useful and thus converting it into information. So I'm going to use a simpler one first. I'm going to use this emergency letter because it's just requiring us to do um, one change. Okay, we've got a couple of here. Okay, uh, first name and surname, so that's fine. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go up to the mailings tab. And the first thing, step number one that we're going to do is start mail merge. Now, what does this look like? It looks like a letter. So we're going to click on letters. So remember step number one, start mail merge and select the item over there. Once you're done with that, you can see nothing has really changed, okay? So now we're going to go select recipients. In other words, um, where's the list that we're going to use to pull in? So generally you'll use, use an existing list. And then we need to navigate to where our particular um, list is. In my case, mine is on the desktop and it is an access database. And you'll see, once I do that, a couple of these items go from grey to being alive. Okay, but I still haven't made any changes to the letter itself. Let me just do this. Right. So, step number one was start mail merge. Step number two is select recipients. And step number three is now where we are going to actually um, look at the... We're going to look at... The recipient list here we can see when I go to edit recipient list what do I see here? I see everything that is inside of the database that I just chose okay so that's fine we just very fine that everything is okay step number three is where we insert the merge field and you can see when I go insert merge field there's everything inside of the database so if that database has five items you'll see five items displayed okay so what I need to do now is actually in my document I need to go to where this area is and say, okay, so here they want emergency contact name. So I click in over there. I'll go to insert merge field and go to emergency contact name. Do you see how it changes? The arrows now change and I can actually go and delete um, what they've put in there. Remember, they are just showing us this like here with first name, just to show this is where it needs to go to. So I click in there again, insert merge field, first name then I delete what they've put in please bear in mind if you want a space between the two you have to physically um, press your space bar to actually put in spaces I'm gonna go insert merge field surname and delete what they've put and then the last one is emergency cell number insert merge field emergency cell number delete all of that and then once you are done so remember step one start mail merge then select recipients and we insert the merge field then just before we go to finish and merge we go to preview results when you click on that I hope you can see that the emergency contact name all those items changes okay so you can just make sure it's in the right place and then we go finish and merge and you're going to click on edit individual documents um, the paper will guide you as to what to do here. In our case, we're just going to go merge all and we click OK. So once we do that, look what happens to, to the number of pages. I started with one page, but because there were 14 um, records, that means there'll be 14 
different entries and you can see there's a different one there's a different one and there's another different one okay so let's close this let's not save the changes let's close this we're not going to save those changes and we're going to go back to our original document called camp letter and we're going to follow the same process again mailings start mail merge letters as our step number one step number two select recipients use an existing list I'm then going to navigate to wherever that particular document um, spreadsheet or database is and then I can obviously just click on edit just to see that all that is there that's fine and now I go and click on the areas um, where I need to insert a merge field this one is name of learner so I'm going to go um, name so obviously delete all of that uh, spacing go surname so now I've got name and surname in there I'm going to go with address suburb and postal code and then just delete everything else Okay, and then name of learner again. And here again, name of learner. All right, so once I've got all that in place, remember I just go preview results, everything is there looking good. And then I go finish and merge, edit individual documents, and for the purpose of this exercise, merge all the records and again it went from one page to now being six different pages you can see there different name different name different address and our document has now been merged and those are the steps involved in mail merge